is Roberts from Palm Crest in fifth grade, and I'm going to show you how to use partial quotient division. This is found in chapter two. Uh, I'm going to start with my division problem, 237 divided by 11. With partial products, I'm going to think how many times does 11 go into 237 using an estimation. I know that 20 times 11 is 220, so I know there are at least 20 11s in 237. So I'm going to draw a line to the right of my division problem here to uh, write all my partial quotients um, in. The first partial quotient, like I mentioned, was 20. I know that 11 will go into 237 at least 20 times. 11 times 20 is 220. If I subtract 220 from 237, I get 17. 11 can still go into 17. I know that 11 can go into 17 one time. So I'll write 1 in my partial quotients column. Uh, subtract 1 times 11 is 11. So I'll subtract 11 from 17 and get 6. 11 cannot go into 6, so that becomes my remainder. The next step is to add my partial quotients together. 20 plus 1 is 21. And I have my remainder here, remainder 6. With partial quotient, there's several different ways to solve uh, the same problem. So I'll show you the same problem in another way. 237 divided by 11. I'll draw my partial quotient line. Um, I could have estimated that 11 goes into 237 at least 10 times. In that case, I would write 10 in my partial quotient column. I know that 10 times 11 is 110. 110. Uh, would be subtracted from 237, and I would get um, 127. Uh, 11 still does go into 127, uh, so uh, I saw before that 110 is can, uh, 10 times 11 is 110, so I know that it will be uh, a little bit more than 110. I'll estimate that it's about 11 times. 11 times 11 is 121 subtract that from 127 to get 6. I'm going to add my partial quotients together. 10 plus 11 is 21, and I have my remainder 6.